Welcome back, everybody, to another Publisher VBA tutorial. All right, so previous video, we were talking about how to take an Excel object and copy on over to Publisher. And we saw that just like every other application out there, there tends to be a few bugs here and there. And uh, it looks like with Publisher, copying is not as simple as it would seem or just it's very limited so you can do it and we can do it but you're not going to have as much flexibility as compared to other applications like powerpoint or even word well what do i mean by that well basically what i'm saying is with powerpoint and with word you could paste your objects using special features so you could create a linked ole object you could paste it as an image you could paste it as a table as an h you know all sorts of different things with publisher we don't get that capability it looks like um, it doesn't mean you can't necessarily do it but you got to do it in these little roundabout ways and you actually have to do very specific methods so just keep that in mind if you're considering moving Excel objects over to uh, Publisher using VBA, you might not have as much capability as you might be used to compared to other applications. Now, also in the previous video, we talked about copying a table object over, or more specifically, a list object. Now, what we're going to be doing in this video is pretty much identical, but instead of doing a table object, we're going to be doing a chart object. So charts are very similar in the sense of how you copy them. However, we just need to change a few lines of code. So a lot of you, if you saw the first video, you're basically going to be going, what are you doing? This is like 90% the same code, but this is also intended for somebody who might not have seen the previous video as well. So if you are one of those people who saw the previous, you probably can just jump ahead and you'll be like, oh, this is exactly the same. So with that being said, let's jump on over to the Visual Basic Editor. You can see right now that I have a nice module ready to go. I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to select that modules folder, right click, go to insert, then down to modules. Let's give this module a name. We're going to say export chart to publisher. Then from here, just like the previous video, we want to make sure we have an object library enabled. So we're going to go up to our tools bar in the ribbon. We're going to go down to references and we're going to enable the reference library for the Microsoft publisher object library. Why are we doing this? Well, it goes back to code development. So there's two options you can go when it comes to uh, writing your code. You can use something called late binding or early binding. With early binding, you're basically just enabling the object library and you're giving IntelliSense more information about the objects you're planning to use. So it can help you out by helping you write your code faster, by offering things like auto completion and things along that nature. Now, the benefit of using early binding is great, makes writing code faster. However, there is a drawback. It does require that the individual who is using this code to have the same object library as you do. So this is great if you're the only one using this or you know the person that you're sending your code to has the same version of Office as you do. If they do not have the same version of Office as you do, guess what happens? An error pops up and they're going, oh my God, I'm looking for this object library that does not exist. So with early binding, it's great. You just have to be aware there is a drawback. If you are concerned about version compatibility, you will use late binding. And basically that means you're gonna uncheck that box. If you're gonna use early binding, you're gonna check that box. Now, where does this object library exist? It's not gonna be at the top, like for me, because I already used it before. You're gonna need to go down to M for Microsoft and then to the P section where you can see other object libraries like PowerPoint. So if you see it down here, just make sure to check it and you should be good to go. Once you've done that, you can press OK. And then from here, we can start declaring our variables. So we're gonna create a new subroutine. We're gonna say export chart or Excel chart to publisher a little two curve brackets and then from here let's declare our object variables these first few are going to be related to publisher now i need to create a new instance of the publisher application so guess what i'm going to create a new application object 
Additionally, I need a document inside of my publisher uh, application. So I'm going to create a new document object variable. Documents are made up of pages. So I'm going to also need a new page object as well. So I'm going to go into my publisher library. There's a page object. And then finally, we're going to be pasting a shape to our particular object um, to our particular page. So I'm also going to declare a publisher dot shape object. So this represents a shape. Guess what? Shape can mean a lot of different things in terms of publisher. It can mean a table, it could mean an image, it could mean OLE objects. So this very broad category. We'll see later down the road that we can grab specific objects from those shapes. But for right now, you just need to keep in mind that this is a very broad object. From here, declare our Excel variables. Dim Excel book. This will represent the code or basically the workbook that houses this code. Then additionally, I'm going to have a sheet object. This represents the worksheet that contains our chart. And then finally, we need a chart object. So we're going to be doing a chart object variable. This represents the chart that we're planning to copy. From here, I'm going to start referencing the objects that I need. Now, remember, Excel is like a hierarchy. So I need to start at my workbook and then go down to the specific object that I need on the specific sheet in my workbook. So the first thing is I'm going to grab the workbook. That's not too bad. I'm going to set that Excel book variable equal to something called this workbook. What's this workbook? This workbook represents the code or sorry, the workbook that houses the code that I'm currently writing. So the code that you're seeing written in front of you as you're watching this video that is found in this workbook. In other words, the export to publisher workbook. Once we have that workbook, we can grab the worksheet, set the Excel sheet equal to the Excel book, go into the worksheets collection. And then from here, I need to give it the key or the name of the worksheet. In this case, it's called objects. Then we're going to grab the chart. From here, we're going to set the Excel chart equal to Excel sheet, then go to the chart objects. And then guess what? We grab the first chart on that worksheet. So in other words, I'm saying grab this one because I'm on this particular sheet. Not too bad, not too bad. Hopefully I haven't lost anybody at this point. Then from here, we're going to start moving into publisher. So this is where we're going to start declaring our publisher object variable. So how do we do this? First thing we're going to do is we're going to check to see if there's an active instance already open. So the user might have it open. That If it is open, great. Let's grab that active instance and we'll create a new uh, document from there. So we need to create or grab the instance of publisher. Now, a bug or not a bug, but basically an error can happen when we try to grab the active instance, because if I try to grab it and it's not there, an error comes up saying, hey, you're trying to grab something that doesn't exist. So I'm going to create this little line right here called on error resume next. What's going to happen is I'm going to first try to grab the active instance of Power PowerPoint of publisher with it. If it's open, set the pub app equal to get object, put a comma, then use the program ID. In this case, it's publisher application. So try and grab it. If it's not open, you get a 429 error. That's basically saying, hey, you're trying to grab something that don't exist. So if the application is not open, it will return a 429 error. That's no bueno. So if we have an error number that is equal to 429, then and if. Well, what do we want to have happen if there's an error? So if our error object has a number of 429. First, clear the error because we know that what the error is. First, clear it. Call that clear method. Then create a new instance of publisher. Set the pub app equal to a new publisher application. 
Now I'm gonna run this and I want you to see what happens because in previous series, we always did something, right? We always took our pub app or in a lot of cases, our PowerPoint or Word application. And we always had this like visible property that we could set and clearly it's not there. So there's no visible property. What the heck's going on? Does that mean I can't show it? Well, you can, but you don't do it at this point. You actually have to do another line. So if I was to run it right now, like I do, nothing happens. What's going on? Well, it's because basically, well, actually I should close it first and then I'll show you. So I'm gonna try it again. Nothing pops up, what's going on? Why, why is it all broken, right? So basically in order to see Publisher, and I kind of missed this on the previous video, you have to create a document first. So first, create a new document. So create a new Publisher document. And I'll put it here. This will let you see Publisher, my little exclamation mark, all caps. So you set the pub doc variable equal to the pub app. We know there's a documents collection and we know with the documents collection, there's an add method. So you can add a document. When you add a document, what happens? Well, it creates a new document and that document also has a page added to it. This is very different, very, very different compared to PowerPoint. PowerPoint, we had to create a new application. We had to make sure the application was visible. We had to create a new presentation. And then we had to make sure that that presentation had a slide. There were many more steps that we had to do. With Publisher, it's not that hard. You just basically create a new document and you're good to go. You have this uh, application that already has a page in it. So if it has a page in it, well, we just need to grab that first page. So grab the first page in the document, document. So set the pub page equal to the pub doc. We'll go into the pages collection and we'll say grab that first page. Then from here, grab and copy the chart. <sighs> Super simple. Well, technically we grab the chart up here. So really we're saying copy the chart. So I'm gonna say Excel chart, go to the chart property. Sometimes, not always, sometimes you need to do chart area. I have seen this fix the clipboard error that we've seen in other series. So if this does not work, try chart area and then try copy. But I'm going to get rid of this for the time being and do it this old way. Now we've seen also when it comes to copying, we have to give Excel enough time to take that object and put it into the clipboard. So pause the Excel application for one second. Very important here, I am pausing the Excel application. So I'm gonna do application, wait, take the current time, and then add literally one second. That's almost all the time you need. Sometimes you need to do two seconds. It really depends how much content you're trying to copy. More content, you might have to wait more. Less content, you're probably gonna have to wait less. It just depends. Now, once you've copied it, paste it to the page. So I'm gonna take my page. There is a shapes collection. And you'll see all these methods. You can add a lot of shapes, but then you get down here. And you have a paste. There's no paste special, there's just a paste. So I'm gonna run this and hopefully it pastes it over. This time it did not look like it pasted it. So sometimes what I'll do from here is I'll check some stuff. So I'll go to my home tab. Looks like it never got to the the clipboard, what happens? Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. So what we'll do is let's try this. Let's do now chart area and see what happens. That might fix it. Still nothing. Why is it not copying? But this time it made it to the clipboard. So again, I'm still running into issues. What in the heck is going on? Why is it not pasting it? Well, I wish I could give you a good answer, but probably it's just 
going a little bit too fast. So maybe I should wait maybe for two seconds. Maybe two seconds is enough. It might be a lot of content, you might just need that extra time. Still nothing. So in this situation, I might just close out publisher altogether and go through this headache again. So don't be surprised if this happens. This has happened to me plenty of times. Um, there was actually one time where it actually, yeah, see, this is what I don't like seeing. I have seen this happen. If that's the error you get, nor more than likely what you're going to have to do is actually close out Excel entirely. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close that out and then I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually just going to end the task entirely. This is the only application I've seen this issue pop up. I don't really know why it's like limited to this one, but for some reason it really does not like copying. Um, especially chart objects. And I will show you too, in some cases, pasting it as a picture first will sometimes uh, remedy the situation. That reminds me if I can even do that. But I have seen things before where I've pasted it as a picture and sometimes that works. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put it back over here and we'll see what happens. Okay. So that time it seemed to work just fine. But I think this is important. I don't wanna necessarily hide the errors from people. I want people to see it up front that this doesn't necessarily work the first time. So don't freak out if it's not working. Try running through some of the mitigation process that I ran and then let's see what happens. If you're still experiencing an issue, it might be the code. So in that situation, that's fine too. If that does happen, all I would say it's just Uncom comment this line out, see if any errors pop up. If nothing pops up and you're still getting it, um, I did have one solution, you're not gonna like it, which is you just restart your computer. Sometimes, I don't know if it's the OLE server or whatever it is, it just seems to cause issues. So again, don't freak out if it doesn't work. It doesn't necessarily mean that your code is wrong. It just means that something probably happened in the communication between Excel to publisher, especially if you've run this code multiple times and you've closed Excel, but you didn't close publisher or you closed publisher, but you didn't close Excel. We've seen this before. So again, don't freak out if it's not working. Um, it can mean a lot of different things. So uh, I would just give you that warning and now you can learn from my headaches and all that kind of fun stuff. So at this point, it does conclude our video. So if you have any questions about um, just copying over from Excel to Publisher, feel free to ask those questions. If any of you, I know I have a lot of people who watch these videos. So if a lot of you come up with any better solutions or if you uh, come across a different way to do certain things, I'd be more than happy to see that in the comments as well. Uh, would say probably the biggest thing right now is if you any of you know any ways to do like a paste special <laughs> that would be awesome because <laughs> i haven't found a way to do that yet so i'm kind of curious as to why a publisher is limited in that fashion so thank you again for watching everybody if you are new to the channel uh it's always appreciated if you subscribe you know i do try to post content weekly um, I try to do also do a wide variety of topics, as you can tell. So again, if you're new to the channel, you know, please consider subscribing. And then also, if you found this video useful, please make sure to give it a likes so that way or a like <laughs> so that way other people can more easily find it. It's really important when it comes to making sure that content is easily accessible to other viewers. So thank you again for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.